Hey everybody, Jay here with PartsKindOfGurus.com. Boy, we got a treat for you. We are at our good friends over at Frontier Ford in Anacortes again, where we filmed the Mach-E video, and we have got a treat for you today. Uh, we're excited, and uh, we're gonna be talking about something that um, you guys might like. And uh, Cameron, what are we talking about today? We are talking about the 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition. Badlands edition. They just happened to get one in. We're excited about it. We're going to do a little bit of a walk around here with you guys soon. Uh, look at that cyber orange. It's the uh, more than just the standard package on the Badlands package. There's a few upgrades. We're going to point those out. All of that right after this. All right, everybody, here we go in its, in its glory. Cyber Orange Badlands, 2021 Ford Bronco full-size Badlands. We're gonna get my good friend Cameron here to walk us around and tell us a little bit about what we got. What's going on in this bad boy, man? All right, well, we got a 2.3 liter inline four EcoBoost Bronco, 310 foot um, horsepower, Actually, sorry, my bad. 270 horsepower, 310 foot-pounds of torque. You got your 33-inch tires on 17-inch rims, beadlock rims. That is an off-roader's dream right there. Beadlock rims, guys, right here. The reason why that's there is that's a true off-roader feature. Basically, that is there so that the bead of the tire is locked onto the rim very solidly when you're going over some pretty rugged terrain, you're going to want to have that in place so that the tire doesn't spin off of the rim. That's pretty key, don't you think? I definitely think so. And then if you look right here, right here, this is your rock rail. So if you are doing that rock crawling or going off road, it's not a foot rail that comes out or a side step that comes out. That's stationary, it sits there. So if a rock goes up on it, you get on there, that rock is going against that, not against the frame of your truck. Let's walk back here to the back of the, the rig. Now, some of the other vehicles that come out there is when you open this back hatch, the back door, it stops right about there. But Ford went ahead and took it all the way out. It is already accessory ready, so you can also have that, that tailgate grill right there. Look at that. All right, so he's talking about accessory ready. So this thing comes stock from the factory here with a, with a six point pre-wired. And if you look right in here, guys, right in here, this is the fuse panel. And right there, you've got connectivity that's gonna allow you to wire everything. It's got connections there. You can wire uh, everything through that. And you've got, the, you've got a front bumper connection for a uh, light bar uh, there. Uh, or winches or whatever else. Uh, you've got a wire connection that's gonna be up in the A pillar here on the inside for like a light bar or whatever. All of the auxiliary switches, guys, are right here and this is what we're talking about. Those are the auxiliary switches and that is what all this pre-wire is all about. Not only do they have it there, but they've also got it in the back end here. It's on the inside of the back end of the rig so you can put that refrigerator in there and keep it cool, keep your beer cool. So um, up under the hood, guys, this is the standard 2.3 liter EcoBoost in this. The EcoBoost 2.3 liter is the only one that you can get uh, with a manual transmission, unfortunately. The 2.7 liter, which this is not, this is a 2.3 liter with the optional 10-speed uh, automatic transmission. And then the 2.7 liter also comes standard with that. You cannot get that, though, in a standard transmission. That is correct. What's some other cool stuff you can point out on the exterior of this thing, man? You come up here and you look at the front. This is not the Sasquatch, it doesn't have a lift. This is the stance that it sits. You got your bash plates, your skid plates right up underneath there. And if you come over here, if you look inside the fender well, the wheel well here, these bars right here, that are right there, those are so when you go to do the the rock crawling and you disengage your electronic 
switches and all that stuff to start doing that rock crawl, it keeps it so the frame doesn't torque. It stabilizes the vehicle. Exactly, exactly. that's an electronic feature. It's not a manual feature. Uh, that way it flexes when you crawl over those rocks and you can get across those things. The other thing too that this thing features, it's got uh, front and rear locking uh, differentials, which is really important for the uh, pro rock crawler or off rotor. Uh, it's pretty important to have that. That way you can get the uh, traction you need at the time you need it. Ford was pretty serious about this thing out of the chute. Look at this, LED lights and everything. It's pretty, pretty high profile in regards to that. Rear backup camera right there. Right on, rear backup camera, wow. Um, does this one happen to have, by chance, the um, 360 degree camera? This one does not have the 360 degree camera, but the 360 degree cam camera, I can show you where they'll be mounted at. Okay. One of your 360 degree cameras will be right up underneath this mirror right here. It shoots down on both sides. And then up here in the front, you'll have a camera in the grill that shoots down in front for that rock crawling, that off-roading in the front, gives you that front view of what's in front of you. So when you're doing those rock crawls or you're doing those off-roads, you can kind of navigate that course better. Right on, man. That's so awesome. So I'm going to go take this thing for a drive. We're going to do a couple things for you, though. We're going to probably lower the top to show you how easy it is to lower and then uh, show you how to pull the doors off. We'll just do one just to kind of give you a demonstration on that. But, but we're going to take a ride in it as well. So uh, stay tuned for that upcoming. Okay. All right, first and foremost, what we'll do, we're going to go ahead and show you how to take the top down. You've got to disengage these switches right here. Unclip. Look at that, slides right out. That's pretty amazing, man. And just remember, you've got all this room in the back to store this stuff. Now, they've got accessories. This is a demo, so they don't have it. This is not... A personalized vehicle but they will do this uh, to demonstrate so they just instead of putting it you know in a, in a place they put it in the back end now if you're at home you can obviously store this thing store this stuff anywhere you want to but uh, trust me there's plenty of room in this baby once this thing is off I am going to uh, kind of give you a bird's-eye view of the interior um, so stay tuned for that. All right, and the next thing you're gonna do, come up here just like with uh, the Jeeps. Yeah, let me get the other side. Right here, there's a little lever. Disconnect that there. Right above you there, sir, there's one right there. That disconnects that. Wow. And then I always fold this back down. Here she goes. Right here, a little lever. You push that down goes up come in a little closer you're gonna hear it click in look at that there's your convertible guys in out of beauty so check this out you got a top down and a Bronco Woo -hoo. Wow man so right here floorboard drain plug this is what we talked about. Look at this drain plug, guys. Every part of this vehicle has a drain plug in it. Every part has a drain plug. Look at this. Tie downs, like we said. Here's your tie downs right here. Um, this is just an amazing vehicle. I don't know what else to say and how amazingly designed this vehicle was. How hard is it to take the doors off, Cameron? It's a two person job. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this window down Come in here with the vehicle off, disconnect this plug, spring-loaded door will close so no water gets inside the uh, electronics there. You got a nut here, 
and a nut down there, take them off, put the door cover on there, lift it up, and walk away. Okay, so first of all, let's get her started. And so look, engine start stop right here. Gotta have your foot on the brake. Look at this. Look at that. All right, so down here, you've got all of your, your goat mode Go control. anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, anytime, look at that. Now, if you go up here and watch the screen right there, it will switch through them. You're in normal mode. Go to your eco mode. Your slippery, your mud and rut, your sand, your Baja, and then that rock crawl mode. Man, I tell you what, dude, that is pretty killer. That is killer. I mean, it it's, 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 too, it's, which... it's right at your fingertips, which is pretty awesome. And you got to love that. All right, so this is. And if you go here, yeah. if you look, so on some of the competitors, your your controls are right here on the on the center stack of what we would call it, that center stack for your windows, right. and then your mirrors are over to the left. They put everything at the hip of the driver or the passenger, and all four of your windows are automatic down, automatic up, and then you can control your mirrors from right here. It's all at the... So it's right at that. your fingertips, yeah. which that way you're always, you're able to keep your hands on the wheels and everything you know, out front. And again, here's the, the, the pre-wired um, auxiliary switches, which are right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are they are right there. Um, everything is at your fingertips. This thing is ergonomically correct. Uh, love it. Um, you've got these little pockets for, for stuff here behind the seat. You've got what we like to call the uh, O'Hell handles here. Um, right over here. Got one there. You got one here. Uh, I mean, what else could you ask for in an off-roader? And right here, you got your hazard button to throw your hazards on, but this is your traction control, and then your electronic locking switches that can do everything. That's all covered it's, under the warranty of the full factory right. warranty. It's and not an aftermarket. This is something that Ford put on there. So this is exactly what we were talking about for the off-roading feature where you've got electronic um, disconnect so that you can give that additional flex of the vehicle and that's gonna change your ramp height, give you maximum ramp height to get on and off of those boulders if they're big boulders and getting out of those crevices. Just gives you that flex, man. That way uh, you can you can have a great ride on the road and then you can also maneuver very well when you're, when you're um, out on the, out, out overlanding and getting on some big boulders, so. Yes the Bronco Mountain coordinates. coordinates. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I also see right here, man, before we take off, let me see if I can get a good, there we go. This right here, that's the plate that they put on um, from the uh, assembly plant in Michigan, which was up in Dearborn. Um, all of them will have that. And uh, that's American made, man. It's good stuff. Let's, Let's ride, go. brother. Let's do it. Ooh, man, my first drive on one of these guys, I tell you, this is this is gonna be awesome for me. I'm gonna head that way. Yeah. Keep us off that. Wow, already I can tell you that I feel nothing but comfort. Yeah. I mean, this is like this is probably one of the most incredible four-wheel drive vehicles that I have ever. And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say it. We're we're two big guys. Yeah, we are. And we fit comfortably in this. We're we not, do. We're not on top of each other. You don't have that that play because I mean the vehicle is up a little bit. Right. You don't have that play and that steering that exactly. most people that have the the lifted vehicles get a little bit of that. Uh, right or left. A, uh, let's make a right. We're gonna take a right. We're gonna go around the. Uh, Go around and get you some scenes here guys it's a different aspect of what this vehicle is and uh, i told you earlier um this is a grown adults lincoln log set this is awesome i mean i can definitely see me playing with this thing so heavily i, I mean i've only been in it for 
I mean, I've been around it all day, but I've only been in it for just a few minutes as far as driving this thing, and it is absolutely one of the most incredible four four wheel drive vehicles that, that I've I've had my body sit in, and and I've been in a lot of four bangers, and this is this is the real deal, folks. I mean, and what, one my wife's going to kill me yeah, because I, I may order this thing. Yeah. So the other unique thing about this is you don't really hear too much road noise i don't and i mean i'm hearing what you would normally get and that's been on some of the forums we've seen people complain about the uh some of the wind noise with the soft top well let's face it it's a soft top so you're going to have some of that noise regardless there's really no way you're going to get completely 100 percent noise free in this thing period let's make a left How does that steering feel for you? This steering feels fantastic. Um, it's really super tight and responsive, which I love. Um, if I'm driving a vehicle like this, I want that real responsive feel to it, and it definitely has it. Um, there are there are vehicles out there that, in my opinion, they they oversteer. Um, I own a vehicle that has electronic steering and I, I, I just, it's too responsive to some degree. So we've got a little bit of wind noise, we do hear it, yeah. but it's not like out of control. And the one thing that you guys out there, if you're going to order one because of the problem that they're having with the hard tops right now, you should probably go ahead and maybe order that soft top option for now and then get the uh, the hard top later on because there's probably going to be some really good ones out there in the aftermarket that you don't necessarily have to get from Ford. And one of the other unique things is, is this one was slated for for the hard top and then it came up with that the issues that everybody knows about. Right. So we switched it. We have all the hardware already installed from Ford for the hard top. If you're going to go with the, the top down or the top off and you have that hard top, right. you can take those two front pieces off and still have that main hard top and then have your your two pieces in the back and you have that bikini top or right which or i like that's yeah. very similar to what jeep did and again folks we knew what ford was doing when they came out with this vehicle their their point was to go right after the jeep wrangler crowd and they did it to the point to where now jeep has come back and they've made some adjustments to kind of compete with what the bronco came right out in production with so this ought to be fun to watch over the coming years uh, with the accessories that are gonna be coming out uh, for this this thing. Actually, they're probably already out and we're, we're gonna be at SEMA. So make sure you stay tuned to that and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash parts counter gurus because you will be catching some probably not, not live but really close to being live segments and we're going to be doing some live podcasting though so go to parkscountyguru.com and sign up for those as well now this vehicle right here is brought to you today by frontier ford in anacortes washington um that website is what frontier www.frontierfordusa.com does get kind of mixed up with the frontier ford dealer right so always go to frontier ford usa Dot com and that gives you the most accurate listing of what's going on what we have on our site and what we have actually on the ground and if we don't have the vehicle and it's in transit um, we will tell you hey it's not here just yet it's in transit and we'll do our best to find what is similar to the vehicle it may not be the same color but similar makeup model trim level and show you that and get you in it so you can kind of know what you're dealing with there you go it's real easy to get in and configure the things um, if you if you are in this area um, Cameron can definitely help you out with that uh, Jared is the sales manager and Andre is the owner of the dealership the general that, manager the general manager excuse me so again a big thanks to uh, Cameron um, Jared and Andre for letting us uh, shoot this thing today our without, pleasure our pleasure yeah without you guys man we wouldn't be able to, to have this ride I'm I'm like, I don't know if Take you guys can tell it, but I'm, I'm, I'm just like beyond excited about this vehicle. Um, Keith, sorry, buddy. You missed it by about uh, 30 days, my friend. But uh, anyway. Sorry, side shot. Yes, sorry, side shot. But um, overall, I, I'm going to give you my overall opinion right now 
about this as we approach a, uh, a uh, railroad track, which I need to stop for because there are no lights. Um, it does not feel plastic. It does not feel uh, mass produced like some of some vehicles, unfortunately, you'll have rattles right from the word go. Um, this vehicle is very well built. I think there's a lot of pride in this vehicle. I think that, that the fact that it's built in Michigan uh, is definitely homage to the hardworking people at the plant up there uh, and Ford uh, Motor Company overall. Um, gosh, man. So I'm looking out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, that when I look straight ahead here, okay, I see great vision. I have nothing but great vision. And that's key when you're off-roading. You wanna be able to, to see when you're coming into something, when you're getting out of something. So the mirrors are, are appropriately placed for me. They're at that right height. Um, they're out far enough. They extend out far enough, which by the way, the mirrors. The mirrors extend out far enough and they're not attached because some places they have them attached to the door. Right. So if you take the door off, you lose your mirror. Absolutely. Ford had that foresight in thinking, hey, let's put them to the frame of the body so when we take the doors off, we still have mirrors. They had that vision. They saw what Jeep didn't do. Um, and if you'll notice on the Jeep, the earlier Jeeps, their, their mirrors were mounted on the doors, but they have kits that you could mount them on the pillars. So trust me, in the aftermarket, there's so much that, that, that will be done after the fact. But what I like about what Ford has done with this vehicle is they've kind of taken away a lot of the um, hard work, which is like wiring for extra accessories and stuff. They've already put these auxiliary uh, uh, switches in and it just, it just kind of works out. It feels great, uh, you know, overall to know that I've got a vehicle that I can have fun with at any time um, and, and add anything to it that I want to at any time. It's amazing. I love it. Very well thought out. Very and the well other cool out. thing is, is that they did is they, they, they thought about, all right, where are some of these people going to put accessories and stuff at? So they even dedicated certain areas on the vehicle says accessory ready. Right. So you can have like right over by the mirror, a lot of people have what are called uh, ditch lights or right. the trail lights. They have a spot there that says accessory ready. Yeah. It unscrews, takes off, and you have that spot right there for those those ditch lights, those um, uh, trail guided lights and stuff like that. Up in the front, you see that those two like little clamps and it's 150 pound tie down or lifting capacity, but that's for the um if you have a kayak up on top right and you need to tie the kayak down right that's where you can hook up to and tie a kayak down. yeah which is very important to point out that uh when keith and i were looking at the design of this vehicle when they first revealed it you know we were looking at it going boy oh boy man that's so well thought out because you see it all the time you see vehicles uh with kayaks on top and they're just tying down to the bumper or or whatever they can but this is thought out where you can carry that load up top and not have to worry about having a place to hook it and it's it's easy to get to. So if you know how to use a rope and tie a rope, you'll have this figured out. Or, hey, let's face it, there are turnbuckles, there's tie down straps, there's all kind of mechanical type straps that are out there that this thing is ready to take because all you have to do is slap that hook in there and tighten her down. So, I mean, you know, I don't know that if you'd be pulling any construction equipment or not, but I'd have to think that if I am a, a guy on a work site um, that this was my fun vehicle, but I also had to have a vehicle to get on a work site. Look, it looks like you could tow a trailer no problem and, and carry maybe something on top if you have the right racking. So this package, this particular Badlands package, I think the sticker price on it is uh, just under 50000 mm -hmm. um, Again, it comes with a few additional optional things like upgrade to the 33-inch tires along with the bead locker rims. Um, it has uh, the 10-speed automatic transmission, um, which is actually standard if you were in a 2.7 liter, this 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Um, I don't think it, it doesn't, ha this one doesn't have the Bang & Olsen uh, sound system. It has a good sound system, but it's not the Bang & Olsen, which is the top, the top sound system. So, hey, get your wallet ready, man. Just spend a few extra thousand dollars. I think you can get on up to around 65000 on this thing, right? Oh, yeah. 
So, um, you know, don't be afraid to spend a little extra to get what you want from the factory. Unless you're one of those guys or gals that likes to uh, tinker with your vehicle and you can, uh, you can, you can sink in, in, into this thing any amount of money you want. So, guys, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless with how well done this vehicle is, is made. I mean, look at this thing, guys. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Um, Cyber Orange, one of these can be yours for 50 grand, maybe a little higher, uh, just depending on how much money you want to spend. Um, I'm sold. So, thanks for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable to you. I know it was to me because I got to drive this beast, and it is a beast. Be prepared to uh, have your, uh, your mind warped a little bit. This is a good one, trust me. Um, Cameron? Yep. Thank you, man. Always. Look, Frontier Ford, guys. Make sure you give those guys some love. Uh, thank you to Cameron for uh, having us out today to do this. Uh, thank you to um, Andre as well as Jared for always having us out. Give these guys a call. Uh, whether you're in the state of Washington or not, or you live close by, it really doesn't matter. Give them a call. Uh, if you live, say, down in Texas somewhere, give them a call. If they got one a lot, they, you can work with the dealer down there. They'll work with you guys. So there you have it. So again, uh, FrontierFordUSA.com. That is correct. Uh, we are ParsCountyGuru.com. You can uh, reach us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Parse County Gurus. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell uh, to be notified when we have uh, more videos come out. And until next time, thanks for watching.